Okay, welcome back folks. We are looking at the Math CEM 8 to 9 paper, preparing students for the 11 plus, test 28. Welcome and thank you for joining us today on this video. You have 10 minutes to do this test. Work as quickly and as accurately as you can. So we have the first question, which is our straightforward question on addition. And my pen has gone a bit crazy. Okay, back on now. 554, five, uh, 336. Three, we just line them up, add them up the way we do a traditional question. That gives us an answer of 890. Now, don't worry about you having extra space here. They give you extra boxes. It doesn't mean you don't need four, four digits in your answer. Three digits is fine. Question number two. Bashar takes four tenths of a cake. So this cake has been divided into ten pieces, and each part is called a tenth. So Bashar has four tenths. Circle the correct option. So the one that's a change is a decimal. So the way we do that, we say 4 divided by 10. That's what 4 tenths means. 4, the line means divide, and then 10. 4 divided by 10, you put the decimal point at the end of the whole number, and you move it back. So that gives us an answer of 0 0.4. Question number 3. Which of these is equivalent to the fraction of cake left one over once Bashar has taken a share? So Bashar has eaten four pieces. So we have six pieces left out of ten. Now it says which one is equivalent. So on this equivalent here, there what now that particular answer here is not available here. So we need to cancel it down. When we cancel it down, we divide by the highest common factor of both numbers. The highest common factor of six and ten is two, which means this is the biggest number that they will both divide by without leaving the remainder. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, 10 divided by 2 is 5, then all of a sudden our answer becomes visible. So the original number wasn't there, but our equivalent answer is there. Excellent. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 4. Preeti is making a fruit pie. She has that many grams of strawberries, 400, 250 grams of raspberries, and 125 grams of blueberries. How many grams of blackberries does Preeti need so that she has 1 kilogram of fruit. So we have 400, we have the 250 and the 125. Okay, and if we add all those up for question number four, that will give us a total of 775 grams so far. Now, because we want to get to 1000 grams, we've got to work out the difference between 1000 and 775. So that'll give us an answer of 225 grams. Okay, that's the answer for that one. Okay, let's move on. Question number five, which of these shapes has a perimeter of 28? Now remember the word perimeter means the distance around the shape. So if we have four here and four here, we'll have another four here and another four there. So because it's a square, they're all the same. So we've got, that'll be, have a perimeter of 16. We want 28. This, one, this half of the shape has a perimeter of 14, 8 at 6. And the other half will also have 14. So that'll give you 28. So for question number five, we find the answer quite quickly. It is B. Without any further delay, let's quickly move on to the other page. Okay, let's do that. Okay, question number six now. The grid below shows a series of shapes. In which square is the kite? So the kite shape is over here. Rectangle, square, isosceles triangle equal, uh, this one is a right angle triangle. So we've got to go across by B. We've got to go up by five. So the answer is B5. Question number seven. Question number seven. Which of the following describes the root from the right angle triangle? Now let's get our rubber and let's get, oops, but the rubber is really small. Okay, let's get our rubber and we'll get rid of this. We need, we need to make that nice and clean. So I'll explain to you what we're doing next. We need to know how to get the right angle triangle to the isosceles. So how does this get from here to there? Now, if you look at these for here, for seven, question number seven, two down. If you go down, we're going to be in the wrong place. Question B, two up. You got two up, it'll be there. And then it goes, uh, one right will be off the grid, so that's no good either. Let's try C. It says, okay, let's, get, let's use a rubber again. Okay, that's good. Okay, now, you want to get from here, it says one left. One left. You end up here. Two up. Correct. That's the one. C is the one. Let's move on to the next question. Devon Boys pays £5 for a comic and five gobstopper sweets. The comic costs £2.50. So let's make this page a little bit bigger so I've got more space to do my working out. 
So five pounds, let's put it as 500p, is the cost of the comic, plus five gobstoppers. Okay, now you say the comic costs two pound fifty. So we can, if we can, so basis comic, let's put down here two hundred and fifty p. So five hundred p, two hundred fifty p plus five gobstoppers. Now, if I want to work at the cost of the gobstoppers, I need to minus the cost of the comic. So let's minus two fifty from both sides. So we'll have two fifty left over here, and two fifty take away two fifty is nothing on this side, apart from the five G. Five gobstoppers. Now, five gobstoppers is 250 pence. I want to work at the cost of one gobstopper, so I have to divide both sides by five. So that would be five divided by five. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, let's try that again. So that will cancel each other out. And 250 divided by five, that will give you a total of 50p. 50p a gobstopper. A chocolate bar costs 75p. If only costs three pound forty. How many chocolate bars can you buy? So 75 P is what we're starting with. Let's get a different fresh color. So 75. If we double that, we get 150. So that's one bar. That's two bars. Now if you double the 150, we get 300. And that will give you the cost of four bars. Now you can't fit any more bars in there because you only got 40 P left here. And you, each bar costs 75. So the answer will be four. We don't need to do anything elaborate here apart from just doubling the numbers, looking at the number bonds. So we don't need to do any elaborate division by 75. Not necessary. <clears throat> Let's go on to the next question now. Okay, Hannah. Hannah counted the number of different birds in her garden one Saturday. She drew the pictogram below but forgot to include a key. Now, we always have a key on a pictogram. So I'm just going to put my key here in advance in anticipation of what it will be. So we're going to have that kind of like this, this kind of oval shape here. We need to work with the eyes. What it is. Hannah saw 20 house sparrows. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So that means she's used five of these pictures to represent 20 sparrows. Now we need to work out what one of the pictures represents in that case. So we've got to go from five to one. If you've been following my other videos, we've been doing videos on ratios. So five to one divided by five. What we do on the left, we repeat on the right. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we found the key. So this represents 4 birds. There you are. There's that key done. Lovely. How many birds does each full one represent? So the answer is 4. 10 is 4. Okay. How many robins did Hannah see in her garden? So robins will be, now that's half a picture. So if the full one is 4, if you half it, it gives us 2. Next question. Or last question actually. Question number 12. The table below shows how much money went in and out of Ollie's bank account between the 12th of January and the 28th of January 2017. At the start of the day on 12th of January, she, Ollie has £20 in her account. So she, the account starts with £20. Let's put that in here. So £20 is the balance that's already in the account. And then we have this much money coming out. Then we have this much money coming in. Then we have this much money coming out. So it goes there. How much does Ollie have in his bank account by the end of the day? So we start with 20. And then we got to minus the £5.53 that's taken out. Then we got to add a £10. And then we got to minus £2.99. So after working out all this lovely, lovely stuff for question number 12, you come to a nice, lovely answer of £21.48. And that's the end of our video. Thank you very much for joining us. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more and further videos on 11 plus thank you very much for being with us today see you on the next one